Welcome to our passenger safety training program. The onboard standard passenger safety briefing may be omitted if the passenger has previously completed this passenger safety training program and flown on the aircraft type within the last 90 days. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is prohibited on the entire aircraft, including the lavatory. We need to ensure that your carry-on luggage is stored in a secure storage area for takeoff and landing. Prior to and during taxiing, takeoff and landing, and whenever deemed necessary in the interest of safety by the pilot in command, each passenger on board must occupy a seat or berth. And when the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt. Insert the metal fittings one into the other and tighten by pulling on the loose end of the strap. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight, as we may experience turbulence. Remember, your seatbelt must be fastened for taxiing, takeoff, and landing, and at other times, as directed by the crew. For takeoff, please also make sure your table is stowed and your seat back is fully upright and outboard. In the event of decompression, an oxygen mask will automatically drop. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth, secure the elastic band behind your head and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the mask. If you are travelling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist the other person. Keep your mask on until a crew member advises you to remove it. This aircraft also carries a first aid kit and portable breathing equipment. The location and usage of such equipment will be shown by the crew as necessary. Please make yourself familiar with the emergency exits on this aircraft. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, appropriate lighting will guide you towards the exit. Emergency exits can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the arrow and moving the door inwards. When you exit, be sure to move away from the engines. If you are seated next to an emergency exit, you must be fit and able to operate the exit in the unlikely event of an emergency. Please study the exit instructions when you board. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. For rearward facing seats, just sit back into the seat with your arms and hands on the armrests and your feet flat on the floor. A life vest is located in a pouch under your seat or in the seat pocket behind you. If instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Slip it over your head. Pass the straps around your waist and adjust at the front. To inflate the vest, pull firmly on the red cord after exiting the aircraft. If you need to refill the vest, blow into the mouthpieces. Use the whistle and light to attract attention. You will also find this and other safety information on the card located in the seat pocket. We strongly suggest you read it before takeoff. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask one of our crew members. We would like to wish you an enjoyable flight. Finally, please remember to bring your passports for international flights. It must be valid and be sure to check if you need a visa for travel to certain countries. For trips to the United States, you must hold a valid visa as the Visa Waiver Programme is applicable to commercial carriers only.